Hey, 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 Marianne here, the crotchety clogger. Thanks for joining me today. Today, um, I, well, I'm sitting in a different place. <laughs> uh, this is actually probably the cleanest corner in my entire house. <laughs> in my living room or the front room or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Apollo and Junior are hanging out in the usual spot there in the dining area nook um but uh yeah i've just got a lot of stuff going on there <laughs> with my beading and uh row counter making and all that good stuff i'm sorry for the glare on my glasses i tried to make some decent light and it's just gonna shine in my glasses i do apologize i don't think i can help it anyway today <clears throat> is what is today june the 7th there we go and uh I want to thank you for joining me today if I have not done that already. But I did want to come on just for a short while and let you show you what I've been up to uh, today. Uh, or what I've done, you know, as, insofar as crochet goes. To share with you a few things. All of them are bag of day crochet related. <laughs> but first, let me show you uh, some of the... Um, and I don't know if this is in the right order, but this is for the hashtag bod had a palooza that Laura at Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming is hosting. Uh, she's drawing a new, um, she has a list of all the bod hats, beanies, uh, that bod has made. I believe it's all of them. She's adding, actually, if, if she does, if uh, Crystal comes out with a new one, I think Laura's adding it to the list. Then every week she asks uh, a random number picker, generator, or whatever you call it, uh, picks a pattern number, and then she goes by her list, and that's the pattern of the hat that is done for that week. Now, Laura, I hope you're getting better. Uh, I pray that you are feeling better. Uh, she's been quite under the weather lately, as well as Madonna, Madonna Ballard. I love you, and I, I'm praying for you to get better too, both of you. Um, I think they've deduced that they gave each other the pneumonia. <laughs> Maybe smell of vision does work. Sneeze of vision. I don't know. Whatever. So, anyway, let's get to the hats. Now, Laura took off a couple of weeks on the hat thing, and it's probably a good thing since she got kind of sick, but I did not participate. I was going to try to catch up on some of the weeks that I'd missed during that time, but I'll get to that later. There's a reason. Uh, and I'll get to that reason later. But, so yeah, let's start with the first one that I wrote on my list uh, one week. And I do not know which week. Uh, we did the Stitch Sampler Beanie by Crystal. Uh, bag of Day Crochet. And all of these are from there. Now, I do not have a tutorial number on that. I don't think Crystal did. It is the Stitch Sampler Beanie. So, when I sent my picture in to Laura, which, by the way, she does a nice slideshow of everybody, everybody's hats every week um, at the end of the reveal video, and she also reveals the new, you know, number, new pattern uh, every week. But, anywho, yeah, it was the stitch sampler, and I sent the picture in, and it was exactly as the pattern was written, except I always put a... Um, I always do a, a crab stitch at the end of them, you know, last round. But anywho, I did not sew my ends in. I sent in the picture because I didn't like it. Not that I don't like the pattern, but I tell you what got me. Um, I didn't have trouble doing it. I think it was the double crochet herringbone stitch. I had no trouble doing it. I enjoyed doing it, but I do it rather loosely. I've done a herringbone stitch before, but I don't think it was, I think it was a half double crochet herringbone, maybe. I don't know. My double crochet herringbone was very loose. It made the hat look really weird because, <laughs> like, at the top, it was nice and, you know, all tension was great. And then it got to that, that part and it was like, whoop, <laughs> in my opinion. It was just kind of loose. So, this, this, 
is the change. This is where I changed it. So uh, it starts off with the the posts, and then then which I really love learning how to increase and de I mean yeah increase the post stitches, front posts and back posts. But yeah, so here we have the star stitch, right? Well, then came I think it was a double crochet herringbone. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was the next section. And so I just ripped that out and I continued with the star stitch there because it just was not, the tension was not there. So anyway, but, but if I'm good, I'll try it again and see if I can keep my tension better as we go. Okay. And then another one. And again, that was this, well, <laughs> this was the stitch stitch sampler beanie from here to here. It's, correct from here down I, it's not what you would see in the tutorial but go over to mad mimi's crochet and farming and you she has a playlist of all the ones we've done thus far or that she's drawn you know to do thus far and then the other one that i haven't shown you guys yet is the super textured beanie uh, and it does have a number it is number 582 Oh, I forgot to tell you, I, I think this is, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby, uh, and it's called Denim, I believe. Um, and here is the Super Textured Beanie in its tutorial number 582. I enjoyed this one. You can, you can't, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. You got your posts and some clusters in there. But, and again, it was the, there's your crown. But, yeah, I enjoyed this one, too. And I can't remember what this yarn is, honestly. Was this a five weight? I don't think so. I can't remember what this yarn is. I can't remember. Anyway, it's a nice blue, royal blue. <laughs> I know if I say it, I'll say it wrong. Okay, and then the, I got fiber in my nose. Okay, and then this last one was uh, tutorial number 577. She called it the Galaxy Blue Beanie because it was blue. She made a blue one. Number 577. And I used, uh, again, this is the I Love This Yarn in Denim. And these other two yarns, this brown one and this variegated, I found at the thrift store. But they are red hearts. And it's got the puff stitches, and I like how this one turned out. I like that one. I think that'll work out. It's it's it fits me, but I've got a rather smaller head, so I think uh, you know a young and from the age of ten up, pretty much most kids can most. I think a child would be able to wear that pretty good, even a preteen. So that's my hat of Palooza's. And uh, here's the reason why I doubt I'll be able to do next week's uh, and why I haven't done a few or caught up. Because I decided to join uh, <clears throat> with everybody in Crystal's contest that she's doing. So I will, let me write, mm, I can't, I don't have a pen. Anyway, I will try to remember to link the video uh, for Crystal's contest that she's having down below. Now, it is over next week. It's over on June the 15th, I think. Yeah, it ends on June 15th. I don't know if I'm going to finish, but I'm going to keep going. And even if I don't finish on the, you know, next week on the 15th of June, I'm going to keep going even after that. Um, it, this will be a priority. I, I don't like having too many projects in the loop, if you will. Um, I've got a lot actually, but I don't like it. So, I'm, I'm definitely going to finish this. This was a new one I didn't intend to take on, but hey, sounded like fun. So, what Crystal's asked us to do, if we want to participate, is to make some kind of wearable, uh, not just uh, not just a, uh, a scarf or hat, for instance, but a wearable. So, I'm making a top. I have decided that I am going to make four squares and I'm going to connect them. They're going to be hanging from, uh, I don't know how to explain this. 
from the corner of all four squares will be the attachment of the straps. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I hope that's what's going to happen. But uh, part of the rules was it had to be a wearable, and it also has to have has to be from some sort of stitch or stitches that. Uh, is from her stitch tutorials or from a stitch from one of her patterns. Um, we can't use her patterns exactly, but whatever. So her stitches are. Oh, and I forgot to write down. Okay, I will try to. <laughs> oh, it's in here. No, it's not in here. Poo pie. Okay, I will try to remember to link uh, the tutorial that I got this stitch from. It's a it was a beautiful ratch, uh, wrap, a beautiful wrap that she did uh, in 2022, I believe. Uh, the latter part of 2022. She did it in a white. And it's just beautiful and lacy. And I can't remember the name of it, but I will link it down below, I promise. And um, so here is what I'm working on right now. Um, as you can see, and it's, I don't know, I'm loving it. It's basically just clusters in PK. Um, but I, I do love it. So I hope this works out. Um, and this is what's on the hook. I do have, did I bring, I don't think I brought a completed panel. I do have another panel that's completed, but I didn't bring it in. But anyway, that's basically all there is to see anyway right now until I get it put together. Um, and again, I don't know if it'll happen by next, by the deadline, but that's okay. I am using, and sorry, I've got my, my uh, tape, my label together, the Lime Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. And this is called the Whipped Cream. It's an off-white. It looks very blown out in the camera, but it is an off-white color, whipped cream, and it's a three-weight. It's a three-light. It's uh, 50 poly and 50 cotton. Pretty sure. 50 poly, 50 cotton. It's seven ounces or 200 grams. It's 392 yards or 358 meters, and it is a three-weight, and I really, you, you guys probably know this yarn. It's, it's very soft, very soft. Okay, so link, link it below, Marianne. I hope I remember. Okay, and then, I don't know if you guys know, sorry, I, I stepped on the base of where the, the camera thing is being there. Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl is a subscriber to many, many of us uh, here on the YT. And she was so kind. I remember when I started um, my Etsy shop with the row counters, she uh, emailed me <laughs> and asked me if I would like her to send me some beads, uh, perhaps that I could use them in, the, in my row counters. Um, and the thing was, her uh, granddaughter, I believe she said, uh, loves making jewelry and things, I believe. And sometimes Cheryl likes to just go buy, to order beads for her granddaughter. And her granddaughter's like, well, you know, I don't know that I can use this or that or this. So I get, to, I get to have her granddaughter's, you know, nays. I get to have them. I say, yay! <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm telling you that because that's the first time I actually... Ugh, Spoke with Cheryl beyond videos and comments and chats and such. So it was kind of cool that I received another email from her not too long ago. And she was asked she was going to make her granddaughter. Is this the same granddaughter? I don't know. I'm only assuming. But uh, asked her. She's make, She was making a swimsuit cover up for her. And wanted to know. She didn't have any cotton. Because we all know. If we're going to wear something to the beach or in the heat, cotton is like our number one choice. But she wanted to know, she had a lot of Kobu. Um, I think it's a lion brand yarn, isn't it? Kobu. 
and I think it is cotton and bamboo mix. And she wanted to know if I thought that would work out all right for her granddaughter's swimsuit cover. Well, yeah, that's perfect. I think any kind of natural fiber, other than an animal fiber, any kind of natural plant fiber, I would say would, would be great for summer wear, especially something you're gonna wear by the pool or on the beach. But at any rate, then, just a few days after, she sent me a picture of her granddaughter standing on the surf, in the surf, in the sand, and I'm gonna put it up for you guys to see. Of course, I asked Cheryl if it was okay. And she said yes. So here's a picture of the beautiful cover-up that, that Cheryl made for her granddaughter. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous, y'all? Look at that. Isn't that great? <laughs> and I want to thank you, Cheryl, for letting me share that with you and share that for you here on, on uh, my channel. I think it's great to see what a lot of people are making, right? And not everybody does videos, so I, I like this. And thank you so much again, Cheryl. And tell your granddaughter she looks fabulous. I just think she looks fabulous. <laughs> and I do love the way um, that it came out. And of course, everybody else loved it too. So says Cheryl. So she had to make two or three more, she said. <laughs> but that's the way we love it, right? Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. And I thank you so much for joining me today. Keep your fingers crossed that I'll get this top done before the 15th of June. And Laura, I'll be back to the hats once I finish this. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.